Hey everyone, welcome along. Thanks for joining me. Um, been asked a bit about Sprugu, so can you please like and subscribe, or dislike, or hit dislike twice if you dislike it that much. But um, yeah, I've been asked about Sprugu, how we make it, all about it. Um, Sprugu is something I've been using for, for quite a few years, four, five, six years maybe. Um, first heard about it many years ago off a guy called Peter Pools on um, large scale planes. An uh, American guy builds model aircraft and um, he put me onto the idea of it, of melting sprue into basically into liquid cement, Tamiya Extra Thin. Now, a lot of people say you should only use white styrene. Other people say you can use anything. Now I've got two here, which this one is pure white styrene, as you can see. This one is dragon uh, plastic. Um, I tried to make one out of the Model Collect plastic, as I mentioned in my B2 video. Model Collect plastic is quite thick. It's some here. It's quite hard. It's um, it almost feels quite waxy. And what I found with as as sprue goo, it didn't kind of with this stuff you paint it on. I'll show you in a minute, and it kind of sticks straight away. What I found with the Model Collect stuff, it kind of rolled off the surface and I didn't want to waste too much Tammy Extra Thin experimenting with it. It was really just a trial. So basically the first thing you need to do is use some Tammy Extra Thin I'd recommend um, out of all the uh, plastic cements. You could perhaps try it with this plastic weld. Uh, I think that would probably work very, very well. Maybe when this bottle gets low, I'll try it. I'll let you know if I do, how I get on. Um, but I have tried it in the past with other sprues and I found that when you paint it on, if you're using it as a filler, I found that it um, disappeared. It kind of sunk overnight. I also found if you use it, make it too thin, then it also, once the solvents all evaporate, it just sort of sinks into the plastic and there's nothing left. Now, this is the result of my white sprue goo and I've put plenty on and as you can see, it hasn't shrunk back hardly at all. So really there's too much on there. I've overloaded it, expecting it to sink back. And also what I'm doing is I'm pushing what little nail I've got into it to see if it's gone off. And it needs to be hard before you start sanding it. If you try sanding it when it's too soft, it just rips off. So consistency, right. I've heard people say, thin it until it doesn't string. Well, if you can see this is stringing. And this is the consistency I like. If you thin it much thinner than this, I find, personally, this is all me, I'm just another guy, I'm no expert, I find it shrinks back too much. But then having said that, I've put too much on here. The sprue is the same sort of consistency, but I find it does shrink back a lot more than this one. So the people that say use the styrene, I think are correct. Now to make sprugo, I'm not going to give you a demo because I don't need another pot of it. I've got it here. All you do, in fact, what I'll do is I'll, if I put some more Tammy Extra Thin in here. Let's get rid of that brush. If I pour some more Tammy Extra Thin in here. Okay. So let's put that back, keep the smells down. And then what I do is these little bits, of, when you've like made things with plastic card and stuff, if you just keep it, um, where's my old snips? Use some old cutters to cut it up. Just keep it and cut it up into small pieces. The smaller the pieces, the quicker it'll melt. And literally just drop it in. And that is it. Now you can use sprue. Um, but I would recommend staying with one sprue manufacturer and do a small amount at a time because if you're anything like that, if you discover the same as me, you'll find that certain manufacturer's sprue works differently. I think Ravel works quite well, um, but certainly that model collect stuff didn't work very well. So that's in there now and I'll just give that a shake and I don't know if you can see, but that's that plastic card. It's difficult to see through. It's just sat there, but within a couple of hours it'll be gone. It'll just dissolve into the glue. So now we can see that on the upper surface there, 
it's not stringy anymore because all I've got on the upper surface is the glue. Now, so I need to leave that overnight now or leave it for a few hours and that'll all dissolve and mix in together lovely. In fact, if I get in there with something else, let me find something I don't mind getting covered in glue. Um, let's get one of these old sticks. There we go. And if I just give this a good stir, You can see how much thinner that is already just by putting that bit of glue in there. So I'm going to leave that overnight just to be sure it's all really, really gone in. So as you can see, you put it on with a brush, with your Tammy Extra Thin brush, and just leave it. Don't worry about the stringing. The stringing just peels off. Just leave it. This has been... I don't know, 27, 28 hours, maybe a little bit more. So that's gone off, that's fine, that's ready to rub down. And I've just done one, Blue Peter Star, and you can see that what I've done, I've filled the sink marks in there, and obviously when I've sanded it, I've removed some of the um, surrounding area because there's hardly anything left here. And you can see some scratch marks in there. What I've used is the Flory, the Flory Models um, sponge sander, and it's fairly coarse on one side, it's like a, a 200, 180 grit. And then this side is like a, a 1200 or 1400. Um, and you can just basically, using this sponge, just like they go over the top. Don't push too hard, you don't want to burn it. But you, you can see it, it rubs down very, very easily. Now, it's not as easy as filler to rub down, or some fillers. The beauty of this is, if you need to do any scribing in this area, you won't notice a difference, whereas I'm sure you'll all know, you're trying to scrub through filler, it kind of crumbles or it becomes soft. If you use super glue, it's very hard, so the scriber sort of skates over the surface. With this, it'll just glide over the top as if it's not there, particularly with other plastics. Now, this model collect plastic is quite hard, so I don't know, I haven't experimented yet, but if I tried to scribe over that, I guarantee I wouldn't feel a difference and you wouldn't see it. Another, th another use I've never seen people use sprue glue for, but I always use it for, is strengthening. Now this is the B2 where I've added the exhaust nozzles. And you can see this is a direct butt joint here. There's no flange or key or anything to support it. So I've put some plastic card on the back, clamped it, left it overnight, trying to get it rigid. Now I want to make this really solid because I don't want that to move or crack at some point in the future. So what I'm going to do, because I've messed up the white one I think, hang on let me have a look. Yeah, I've messed up the white one for now. So let's use this dragon one. Because I'm not using this to rub down or for anything cosmetic. I'm just using it to add for some strength. And you can see that what I'm doing is brushing that on and immediately it just sticks into the surface. And you can see there it's absolutely solid. Okay. And another thing you can do if you're after ultimate strength, you can take your extra thin... Wet the area first with extra thin, like this. Then take your sprue goo and put it on top. And immediately what happens is the, strew, the sprue goo, you need to get put them on, stretch the brush out and make it longer. But immediately what will happen is the sprue goo will stick to the extra thin. You can see it does, it's not going on so readily because it's biting into the surface on that wet surface which is already penetrating the plastic. So there we go, I've built up that now. Let's get some more on there. As I say, these strings, don't worry about them, they don't matter. Don't let them lay over clear parts, but... Uh, and there we go. Now that will dry and dig into that plastic and it will be as strong as the plastic around it. It's almost like you're, you're adding a weld. You're, you're building up the joint with weld after it's already been welded, if you like. So I can pretty much guarantee you now that that joint there, unless it's unduly stressed, which it shouldn't be, will never crack. All right, so I'll get on and do the other side, and that's that. But there you go. Now, I hope that's answered some questions for you. 
if you make it too thin it will just sink away from you I mean I'll show you on this one the difference if you look at if you, you've seen what I've just done with the dragon sprue now this is a lot thinner because that glue sat on the top but just brushes on you see and it doesn't tend to do much it's just sat there so using it as a filler becomes extremely difficult so there you go that's that sprue goo without it stringing you see there's, there's nothing there there's no real consistency to it it's just nothing to it all right so that's fine you know if, if you're just trying to fill tiny recesses or small gaps or something but it's no good as a as a big gap filler or if you're trying to build up some strength on the back of the area and that will actually be stronger than adding plastic card because you've built up a layer of plastic card but it's actually bonded all the way around on all the shapes so there you go give it a go um if you've got this much glue left in a bottle this much here that's just about five or six mil no, it's actually about 10 mil, sorry. Um, wait till you're down to about 5 or 6 mil and put sort of that much plastic in it and see what happens. And just keep adding the plastic until, you, until you're until you happy. Um, you know, and, 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 and you get the right consistency. As I say, this one is extremely thick, um, as was the, the white one until I put some more, um, until I put some more extra thin in it. So, um... I hope that was good for you. I hope it's, uh, that you learned something from it. And um, give it a go at home. As I say, it's got... The benefits are, as a backup here, it's strength. And the fact that it welds in. You're, you're welding a joint in there, if you like. Um, it's easy to sand down. And it's the same as the parent material. So it tends to remain level and flat. And it's far better to scribe than any other filler material you're going to use. Um, where it's not so good if you've got particularly thin areas like don't ever put this near anywhere near a trailing edge of a wing or something because it'll just it'll distort the edges um, if you put it on as a, as a filler so um, yeah be careful what you're doing with it um, don't plaster it on too much in thin areas and you'll be good to go so thanks for watching if you've liked this please hit the like button if you didn't hit the dislike if you've got any comments add them below but most of, most of all, at the end of the day, please hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.